Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Minecraft. Um, where are we, you might ask? We are in the Emporium, which is uh, one of my projects that I have uh, kind of been neglecting. It's a very big project. I've talked about it on an episode before, but it's been quite a while. Um, however, I just wanted to say I have been working on it off camera. I do still plan on finishing it, but I don't really want to show it on camera yet because the progress is not very easy to make a video out of, and I'm getting close enough to finishing it that relatively soon I'm hoping to have a video showcasing the full thing uh, in depth and show some people playing it um, because it's a, a mini game of sorts. So, yes, it is still happening. When it'll be done, I don't know, but I have not forgotten about it. Anyways. But today we're not going to be at spawn, we're going to come back over to my base here and I have a project in mind for um, to build a giant mushroom. So I've been inspired by my wife's uh, re recent expansion to her mushroom village over here, um, which is awesome. So she's got all the villagers, these mushroom houses, and she recently made an episode, um, which was pretty fun, of this fairy. So, what I want to do is make a rival village of sorts. Not really a rival village, but another village or town on this island. Maybe back in that far corner, or maybe over there somewhere. Um, except for it's going to be brown mushrooms instead of red mushrooms. I know, real original idea. But uh, I want the shape of the mushrooms to be a little bit different. So, I'm thinking taller and skinnier mushrooms that have a maybe like a wider top kind of like the brown mushrooms are um by default where are they well you know what the regular brown mushrooms look like in minecraft and i've been inspired by the village in skyrim called uh tel mithrin i think it's in one of the dlc areas of skyrim where you go to an island and there's this whole town made out of mushrooms that are really tall. So <laughs> basically I want to make something like that. So I'm going to get to work planning. Um, we'll see what type of shape I could come up with for some mushrooms and I got to figure out where I want to start building and um, yeah, we'll just go from there. So I'm going to get to work and I'll be back soon with an update. Okay, I hear at my storage room, um, just looking at my supply of mushroom stems, don't have a lot. So I gathered some mushrooms and some bone meal, and I'll probably go farm some of them so I can get more of these. Although I don't have to exclusively use those for uh, the mushroom stems. I might be able to get away with mixing in, oh, I don't have any snow either. <laughs> Quartz or snow or some of these other white blocks uh, might look good in there as well. Um, yeah, but I'm going to do some farming, get some resources, and then we can start building. Oh my goodness, I was just walking around and I saw a random brown mushroom. I thought that my brown mushroom had escaped because, you know, they're rare, I think, on naturally. Uh, but no, he's still here. So this guy must have been struck by lightning just by himself, which is very rare, I think. So that's really cool. I'm, I'm going to go get a name tag and name him. Um, I'm debating if I should let him just wander around or if I should try to put him somewhere. I should probably put him somewhere because I don't want him to, uh, I don't know, run away or get lost. I don't know really where he'd go, maybe fall into a pit or something. But um, but I do know that a while ago, Samwise was at my base and he was joking about preserving the wildlife here and he was breeding a bunch of mushrooms, aka a bunch of mushrooms are wandering around here that don't despawn because he bred them. Um, because, by the way, I don't think mushrooms spawn on the moss anymore. So I'll have to make a patch of like mycelium somewhere as like a spot where they can still spawn. But anyways, I don't think this guy's going anywhere. Um, even if I leave the area, I don't think he's going to despawn. So I'm going to go get a name tag and figure out what I should name him. And uh, yeah, let's put him somewhere. Okay, we've got the name tag. I thought I lost him, but there he is I'm trying to run away over here. My wife had a really good idea um, to put him in the uh, brown mushroom village that we're going to make. Um, 
because you know he's a brown mushroom so i think that's very fitting actually that we found him today also uh i can name him tell mithrin i had to look up how to spell it but this is the oh. name of the settlement in uh skyrim that i am inspired by to make this so very cool i think this was a very uh the universe is a this is a sign from the universe that uh we should build this village today so let's go do it and i'll uh well, actually, I haven't even decided where I'm going to put the uh, village yet. So let me find a place. Let me park you here. And we'll do some thinking. Oh no, I've done it again. I uh, just recorded something about five minutes of content and my microphone was turned off. This, I, I am just a fool. I've done this so many times. My guy can't even open his eyes. But yeah, so to fill you all in, I am not at home. I am at a different mushroom island. I realized um, after farming a few brown mushrooms that uh, the ratio between getting mushroom stems and uh, other mushroom blocks is quite horrendous. Um, I ended up getting 10 stacks of brown mushroom blocks before getting one stack of stems. And so I figured to speed up the process, it'd be faster to just come to a new mushroom island and chop down the mushrooms here. Uh, however, when I got here, uh, I was pranked. Sam, who I'm talking to on Discord between clips, uh, he knew I was coming to this one, or he found out which mushroom owl I was coming to. Somehow he got here before me. I think he went through the nether, because I just flew through the overworld. And yeah, there was a funny little interaction where I stumbled upon this house, and he had just already built a whole setup here and made me think that I was invading his secret base or something like this. So yeah, it's a bummer it didn't record all that, but that's okay. Uh, now you know. I'm going to farm some mushroom blocks and get to work on this build and yeah i'll see you soon okay i'm back home we're behind the uh elder tree i almost called it the erd tree i was watching elden ring <laughs> we're behind the elder tree uh don't ask how those salmon got there we're with our our cute little polar bear friend i'm starting to make one of the mushrooms though um i think i after playing with it a little bit i think i like the shape um, that I'm going to be making it, although I think I might even make it a little taller, and then I'll have a big, wide, flat mushroom top uh, up there. And yeah, that's pretty much just the plan right now, and then afterwards we'll make it into an actual house. Um, as far as where I put it, I've decided to build this village in this peninsula out here, so I'll probably have a pathway coming out here, and then the rest of the village, I will build just around this this peninsula here and this surrounding area. So yeah, it should be fun. I'm going to get back to work and probably make this mushroom a little bit taller and then see how far I get. Okay, and I'm back. I have filled in the mushroom stem. I ended up making it a little bit taller than I had before, um, but not by too much. And then I've started adding this ring of where I want the mushroom top to be. I did very slightly um, make it diagonal, slanted, uh, just because I felt like at this larger scale, slight variations like that would make it look a little better. Um, so I'm pretty happy with how it looks so far. I'm excited to see once I fill in the top what it looks like. Um, and then what I want to do is add little white lines underneath uh, I don't know what they're called in real life, those little lines that go out from the stem of the mushroom underneath uh, that are maybe there for support, I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, I'm going to put those in there. I'm going to see what the mushroom looks like when it's just flat like this. Um, I want it to be relatively flat, but I'm just not sure if I want it to be completely flat yet or if I will end up adding a, a small, like, raised area in the middle I'm not sure so we'll go from uh, from there just starting by filling it in 
And then, yeah, I want to add a house on the inside or a, some sort of structure on the inside. So, uh, yep, I've got some more work to do. So here I go. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I'm struggling a little bit with this one. Um, I've added some end rods around the outsides of this as little uh, drapey things. I don't know. Um, yeah, I tried to make these lines coming out from the middle with end rods. And then I tried again with uh, full blocks of various types. I just cannot get it to look good. So I, this is what I've come up with now, which I like more than um, anything else I've done. Uh, and I do like that it gives it some amount of light underneath the, the mushroom here. So I'm going to finish this ring and hopefully that will look cool. It kind of looks like a, some sort of like bioluminescent mushroom. I don't want to go too crazy with that whole theme, theme, but uh, I think I like these. The top of the mushroom too, I, I did make slightly wider. Um, and yeah, I don't know how to describe it, but it's a little hard to explain how I feel about it. It's, it's not really doing it for me completely, at least the top of the mushroom. So I might need to make it a little thicker. Um, from here, it actually looks pretty cool though. But uh, yeah, I don't know. But I ran out of end rods, so I need to go get some more from somewhere. I might have some elsewhere. I don't have any more at my main storage room here. So uh, I'll finish it off and see how that looks. And uh, maybe we'll take a break from worrying about the outside and we can uh, work on the interior. Okay, so I did not have hardly any more end rods. I just had 11 that I found um, in the Emporium storage that I have. So I'm here in the nether trying to collect uh, blaze rods so that I can just craft some. Um, and then, yeah, I think I've decided I want to add the rest of those end rods around the bottom of the mushroom. And then I also want to add uh, the top of the mushroom. I do want to make a little thicker. So I'm going to use up some more brown mushroom blocks and do that um but otherwise i think that's pretty much all the plans i have so i'm gonna sit here and try to get some end rods for a minute and then we will see how it goes okay so that first farm or that first uh, nether fortress that I was at uh, didn't have a blaze spawner. Luckily, Samwise knew the coordinates of, here we go, a different fortress that supposedly has a spawner in it, um, which should make getting blaze rods a lot faster. There we go. Um, but yeah, it feels weird flying around a um, nether fortress like this. I haven't, I mean, flying around the open nether. I haven't done that in such a long time. But uh, this should make it a lot easier, hopefully. Might as well shoot these guys too. Alright, let the grind begin. Okay, I think I'm out of here. I got 36, but it is honestly uh, pretty sketchy out here. I've already uh, lost one totem of them dying while trying to get them, so I, I don't know how much I trust myself to not die and continue to do this. But I think 36 is easily enough for um, what we need. So I think we'll be good. Because if I remember right, one blaze rod makes either two or four, uh, what are they called? End rods? So we should be fine. Whoa. Let me just kill this guy. Okay, that's it. I'm out of here. And while we're out here, I guess I should stop by our little nether village, uh, which I do plan on continuing at some point still. Uh, it's just been a while, but yeah, it's pretty nice out here. I like that there's uh, these greenery, these plants out here in the nether. Um, I, I probably talked about this a lot. Oh no, I probably talked about this a lot in the episode when I actually made this, but um, uh, the Endermen, they're a problem. They take all these blocks and eventually I think they're gonna kind of destroy the whole landscape here but yeah it's a nice little nice little village okay we're back at my base there's a beautiful sunset with the uh giant montezu in the distance and i pretty much finished the mushroom 
So I added a, a pathway in front of it there. And you can see from back here, I did um, thicken the top of it a little bit, which I think goes a long way. I think that makes it look much, much better. So I'm happy about that. Finished getting the end rods up there. And then we made a little interior down here. And I don't know what to call this place yet, but I put two signs here. Um, I guess if you have any ideas, let me know. Otherwise, I'll come up with something for what to call this place. And I have my cow just living here right now. Uh, yeah, and there's just a little piles of stuff, a little desk, a bed. Obviously, the cow wouldn't actually be able to use these, but it's kind of funny. So anyways, yep, that's pretty much the mushroom. I think it turned out really well. I'm excited to see it here now that it's actually nighttime. Yeah, it looks very cool. I might need to add some lights onto the stem, uh, but I think that looks really cool. So anyways, um, that's all I have for today's episode. I want to end this episode so that I can get out the episode tomorrow because I'm running out of time. But let's head over to the spawn tower and do a comment of the day, and then we will end the episode. Okay, here we are at the tower. And today's comment is from Jonah, who plays on this world. Um, I loved having the duo. I want to hear more from you. So this is in regards to, if any of you saw last episode, um, my wife did the whole episode. And that's kind of just because I've been busy with work, especially these next couple months till after Christmas. And, um, and it's just for fun. She wanted to make one. So yeah, she might make another episode actually coming up here. So if you want to see more of her, uh, stick around because we'll probably switch off episodes or, or at least she'll occasionally have an episode here or there for the next month or so. Um, so yeah, that's kind of fun. And also, Jonah, while I'm talking about you, you need to get back on this world because uh, I know you've been saying I need to finish the Emporium, which is true, which is true, but... I've been waiting for you to finish this tower over here. When is this going to get done, eh? I'll finish the Emporium when you finish this big tower. Alright, that's all. <laughs> but, have a good day everybody. Thanks for watching. And, see you in the next episode. Bye.